Well, I know these are for pets, but this even looks fun for me. It's time for your BT Extra. The weather not so good, mm. Kim, so you have some great mm. options to keep your pet active. Absolutely. I thought about yesterday while I was out in the absolute drenching torrential downpour with my dogs and saw nobody, not another soul. I thought, what are people doing at home with their dogs to keep them mentally and physically stimulated when the weather's really crummy and it's so dark when we get home? So I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of the um, food dispensing toys and just sort of activity items. So you have on this edge of the table here what we call food dispensing toys and sometimes they're just used to slow dogs down so for example this little green thing here if you've got a dog who eats kibble you just pile all the kibble that you would normally put in a bowl in that and it takes the dog some time to fish it out so if you think about it if they normally spend a minute 30 seconds eating their breakfast if we can slow that down to five minutes it sort of occupies their mind um, quite a bit more than just eating out of a bowl same with the other puzzle feeders so you can put your kibble inside it and the dog has to learn to spin or to move the toy in order to get the food that's in it. So it really does uh, engage their brain. So those are really meant to be sort of uh, dinner, like meal feeding toys. The rest of the toys you see here, really important to remember, most of them are for supervised entertainment only. So you can kind of see on this uh, where kibble would go inside, left to their own devices. Sometimes dogs will chew on these kind of toys and that is not what they're meant for. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're supervising. Toys like Kongs have been around for, you know, a long, long time. They are quite often meant for dogs who are a little more extreme chewers, so they can be stuffed. You put peanut butter or their kibble in the um, center of the Kong. You can freeze them if you've got a dog that's a real serious chewer, and you can let the dog sort of work um, chewing it, this kind of product. But these things, not so much. But it's really important for dogs to have an opportunity to sort of bash toys around, food falls out of it, they get to chase them around the house. So it's really very mentally and physically activating for them. Such great tips here at the yeah. Surrey Animal Resource Center. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome.